than to come and, and visit God. Visit Jesus. Come visit the Lord. Amen. Come, come, come visit the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come and come and come and acknowledge Him that He's been good to you. Amen. That he's been kind. Can I get a witness, somebody? Amen. Let's come by the church and just say, Lord, thank you for one more day. Let's just come by and say, Lord, you bless my children to be healthy and, and strength. Just, just to come by and tell them, Lord, you've been good. Amen. He, de he deserves that. Can I get a witness? Oh, yes, he deserves it. Amen. And to him we owe it all. Amen. The Bible says that men ought to always pray. And not faint. Yeah. That simply suggests, that simply means that uh, if you're not praying, you need to be praying. And as you need to be praying, know that your praying should never cease. Your praying should be continual. I like the, the, the other word that's used for it. It ought to be perpetual, meaning that it ought to be continuous. We have reasons to have perpetual praise. Can I get a witness? So much going on in the world today, man, and we ain't got to look at it on the TV and look at it over somewhere else. It's right here. Right in your front door. And for that, people of God, I mean, I, I just believe that God, he, he deserves our, our total praise to him. We ought to always be praying and asking God. Lord, deliver me. Lord, deliver my children. Lord, deliver my home. Lord, deliver my family. Amen. Because this, this, this demon that's in the world, it ain't got no respect of person. I said it has no respect of person. Sister Or, it ain't got no respect of person, sis. Amen. It, it's not going to anybody's fault. Rich, poor, the poor part I like about it, you ain't got to be rich. You know what I mean? You ain't got to be poor. You, you just be alive. Yeah. Yeah. My grandmama used to say, take the Lord along with you. Everywhere you go. And I like the B part of that because she said, you don't need it. You don't need it. Can I get a witness? Yeah. It's prayer time, amen. It's prayer time, the time that we take our concerns, our problems, our situations, amen, to God. Yeah. How many know that he's a prayer answering God this morning? Yeah. Is he a prayer answering God? Has he ever answered your prayer? Yes. Yeah. Amen. He's a prayer answering God. And so we want to go to the throne of grace this morning and we want to beseech him, amen, at his throne and ask him that he would just continue to uh, allow his continence to be smiled upon us as his people. We want to continue to pray and ask him to, amen, keep us, cover us, amen. As a family of faith, amen, one and all, we want to ask him to, to bless us, amen. We want to ask him to be in the midst of us, amen, as a people of God. Can I get a witness? Amen. We want to ask him to uh, 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 put his hedge of protection around us as his people, amen. We want to ask him to continue to bless us and strengthen us as the Cedar Grove Church family, amen. We want to ask him to not let one fall without the other. We want to, you got to you gotta ask God, you, you got to ask him, you got to beseech him and ask him to be in the midst of us, amen. And, and, and as we do that, we'll find that he will be, can I get a witness? He will be, he will be what? He will be in the midst of us. Amen. He will be, amen, uh, uh, blessing us. He will be working on our behalf in the midst of us. How many want him to be in the midst of us? Amen. Hallelujah. How many truly want him to be in the midst of us? Amen. We need him in the midst of us, don't we? Amen. We need him. Amen. So we will just stand this morning. Amen. Uh, uh, I like it this way. Amen. Mama, and I bless her heart. Let's say amen for Mama this morning. Amen. Amen. Able to be in the house of prayer. Amen. Got my mama with me. Got my road. Got my road dog with me this morning. Got my mama with me this morning. Amen. God's been good to her. Amen. 
and he's continuing to be. I, I just want to do a little bit. Mama ain't putting no shackles on me. Thank you, Mama. She, she ain't putting no, 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 no braces on me, man. And I, I thank God for that. But we, uh, it's off the press. So let's just do a little something. Uh, a little something. Uh, let's come toward the altar together. Amen. It ain't going to take much off us. Amen. chain is as strong as his weakest link. As I'm looking at you, I don't see no weak links. Amen. I don't see no weak links. Amen. Praise his holy name. Amen. We want to pray and ask God to touch us. Amen. Uh, how many know we need his touch today? Bless his holy name. We need his touch today. If anyone has a request, a special request, Special request, let's do it this way. A special request, you don't have to let us know. God knows, amen. You can just say special request, and that'll go up in the elements, in the, in the, in the, in the elements and he'll get it, and it'll go right to the throne. Can I get a witness? But if you have a, a, a request that you want to make known, amen, you can just raise your hand. Yes, ma'am, I'm going to go. Living 
God. And it is unto thee this morning, our dear Heavenly Father, we come. Lord, first of all, before we ask for anything, anything at all, we come standing, asking, and realizing, and understanding. We're standing before you. So before you, we stand this morning, and the first thing we want to utter out of our mouths is thank you. Lord, we thank you this morning. We thank you for life. We thank you for health. We thank you for strength. We thank you for movement of our limbs. We thank you for, for the uh, thinking of our minds. We thank you for the words and the syllables that are able to be pronounced out of our mouths. We thank you, oh God, for touch. We can touch something and we feel it, oh God. We thank you this morning that we are whole. We thank you for our money this morning, oh God, for just being in our right minds this morning and having a mind to come to your house to give your name the praise, the glory, and honor, which is all due you. We say hallelujah and thank you to your holy and righteous name because God, you've been good. You've been so good to us. As a matter of fact, not only have you been good, but suggested that you stop. No, you have not stopped because you're good right now. And we say thank you for your goodness towards us this morning. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your, your long suffering. Thank you for your patience, your meekness, your kindness. Lord, we thank you this morning for everything that you're doing in our lives. How you're holding us together. How you're keeping us and not allowing us to be victim of God to the enemy. Thank you for oh God just uh, overshadowing our lives. We have so much to give you thanks for today. We have so much to give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise for. But oh God, we come, oh God, with such as we have, knowing that, oh God, we can't make it without you. We realize today we, we cannot make it without you, God. We got good sense and we ain't gonna even try to make it without you. So we stand before your holy altar this morning. We stand before your 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 your, your prestigious, oh God, your prestigious his majesty we stand before you and your holy tabernacle asking stand and say that we all need the one thing and it is that we need you this morning we realize this morning oh master that we cannot make it without you and so we ask right now in your son Jesus' name that you go around the altar this morning and situations that they asking you to pray for lord we know that you know you know everything that is to know about us. You know the hairs on our head. And so we ask right now in the name of Jesus that you would go around the altar this morning. Touch your people this morning, Master, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we know that Satan is busy on every hand. But we also know that we have the victory through you, Christ Jesus, our Lord. So this morning we ask that you touch your people one by one today, name by name. Touch each home that's represented here this morning. We need your help. We need your touch right now, do Master. Move right now. Move, oh God. Move, God. Right now in the midst of your people. In the name of Jesus, touch, oh God. The request Mother Yvonne spoke of. You know, you know all about it. Move right now. In the name of Jesus, touch, oh God. The way of your family. They need you right now, oh Master. They need you to intervene on their behalf. Move right now. Touch those, touch those babies. Lost their mama. Touch husband. Touch mother. In the name of Jesus. Move right now. On my brother's mother's eyesight. We know that you're able. I said we know that you're able. We know that you're able. And we know that you will. Touch her right now. By your power and by your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Touch, oh God. Look upon Sister Chantel's daughter. In the name of Jesus. Whatever, 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 whatever the problem may be. Move, Lord. Right now, by your power. In your precious name we pray. Bless my brother this morning who asked that 
said you will bless all of your people and strengthen us. Strengthen us right now. Strengthen us right now. Strengthen us right now. In the name of Jesus, we need your strength. We need your help. We need, we need you. And oh God, we pray that you will continue to touch our dear mother. Touch Mother Wilson in the name of Jesus. She don't have a brace on her leg this morning. Thank you for that. She looking like she's in good spirits today. Health and strength. We thank you for it. We'll take everything that you give us because we realize you ain't got an answer. But you look down and you see it all and you touch your people. And for that we say thank you. Touch right now. Touch my brother, oh God, in the name of Jesus. You know what he stands in need of. Move on him right now. On the situation, on the situation, on the thing. Oh God, you know, and you're able. Move right now. In your name we pray. Then God, we ask that you would just bless See the Grove family. Bless us one and bless us all. Bless us, oh God, to be the church. Bless us, oh God, to be the people you would have us to be. We don't want to be just another church on the corner, but we want to be a true beacon light. We want to be a real beacon light. We want to be a beacon light. We want to be a beacon light for lost souls to be able to come and find the help they need. In your precious name we pray. God, we ask that you move around the altar. Even for those that did not ask for requests. Father, whatever they need, give it to them, we pray. Whatever they stand in need of, you said you would supply you said you would supply all of our needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you right now for just being God to us that none other could ever be. We lift up those, oh God, that would be in service this morning and don't have the opportunity or can't make it. We pray for those that may be sick and shut in, those that might be. Oh God, yet still be in the midst of he needing healing, you know right now. You know the ailment. Touch them by your power. Touch them by your spirit, we pray. Lord, we just thank you and we praise you for just being mindful of your people. Being mindful of us. Thank you for not letting Corona uh, be in our midst. Thank you for not letting Corona be in our midst, oh God. Thank you for keeping us as you have. And we're praising and asking you to, we thank it in advance that you keep, continue to keep us. Those families, those people, those loved ones outside of our individual circles that have issues with it, those that have fallen victim, oh God, you know. But we pray that you would just intervene only as you can. Only as you can. Touch those hurting hearts. Touch those hearts that need mending, we pray. You are the great and you are the true consolator. Consolate their spirits, we pray this morning. Then we ask that you bless our worship today. Let it be a sweet smelling savior to your throne this morning. In all that we say and all that we do, Lord, let it be pleasing unto you. Let our lives Lord, let our lives bring glory to your name. This is our prayer. Accept our petition. Lastly, we ask, thy will be done. Thy will be done. And we'll continue to give your name glory. We'll continue to give your name praise. We'll continue to give your name all the honor that's due you. It's in your son Jesus' precious name we pray and ask it all. And every heart in agreement with this prayer, put your hands together for God right now and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's done. It's done. It's done. 
in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Father God, 
This is my substance that I give to you. Bless it, touch it, and receive it as I give back to you. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, give us a little offer.
this your word to this your people. Oh God, as we apply the mechanics we apply, you supply the dynamics even now. Speak to our hearts, speak to our minds. Move, oh God, upon the altars of our heart. Oh God, allow this word that is wrote, written, oh God, as it even then was spoken, but also will forever be living. Let it live upon them. Oh God, move and live upon them. Let it breathe upon the hearts of this your people today. Father God, that one that's nearest to, nearest to being lost today, we pray that you allow your word to touch them, convict them, prick their heart and give them to know that they need to say yes to you. Then, oh God, your saint, your servants, oh God, strengthen us all, we pray through your word, that we might be better, and might be a better, might be a better people to serve you. Least of all your servant, oh God, I pray that you move me and allow the preacher to come. Fill me with the Holy Spirit, oh God, then I ask that all that I say and all that I do be pleasing unto you. Let your blood fluently flow upon us, but more so, let it saturate this your word. That, oh God, we will be able to live this, leave this place better than we can. It's all in Jesus' name and for his name's sake we pray and ask it all. Every heart said amen. amen. If you love him, give him a hand of praise. Amen. amen. Last week we worked with a passage of scripture, amen, that uh, spoke to our hearts, uh, David the instrument of the design that shared and spoke to our hearts on last week. Amen. And he spoke to us out of Psalms 37. For those that were not here last week, but to put it all together for us all, going back to Psalms 37. Amen. And there was some more stuff in there that I, he gave me, but you know, you can't tell it all. Amen. amen. At one time. Amen. 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 You can't tell it all at one time. Amen. So he took us back to it. And amen. These next few verses, I believe, will bless our spirits. Amen. Right. Psalms 37. We dealt with verses 1 through 5 last week. We want to go. Amen. We want to go to verse 6 down to verse number 9. Say amen. Amen. If you found it, say amen. Amen. If you haven't, say I'm still looking. Yeah, look. All right, somebody says that. Uh, uh, Psalms, Psalms 37. You got it. You got it. All right. If you all have it, let us stand for the reading of the scripture. Word of God reads this way, and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and they and thou and thy judgment as the noonday. Watch this. Rest in the Lord. Say rest. Rest. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently. Say wait. Wait. Say patiently. Wait. For him. Fret not, say fret not. Fret not. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger. Say cease. Then say don't get mad. I don't hear you. Don't get mad. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not again, he says, thyself in any who to do evil. In other words, in other words just let evil, let, let evil be evil. Amen? Yes, yes. Verse 9. For evildoers shall be cut off. Say be cut off. Oh. Say be cut off. Be cut off. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord 
Say, wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. They shall inherit the earth. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you for your respect to the word and to your <coughs> Amen to your audience to the word of God. This is the word of God. I believe it to be so. I embrace it in this fashion as the gospel writer records before one jot or one tittle of this word shall pass away. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But the word of our God, say the word of our God. Word of our God, word of our God shall stand forever. And I believe that to be so. If you believe that with me, just say, with a wave offered to God, say, even this day. Even this day. Even this day. By way of subject, amen, last week we opened it up, verse 1 of chapter 37. We tagged, amen, the phrase, we tagged the phrase in it, that's the very first portion of 37, chapter 37, Josh. If you don't mind, bro, shut that door for me. That right, call it. This one right here is coming in on me. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, sir. Uh, we tagged it by simply suggesting fret not. Amen. Fret not. Let me hear you say that. Fret not. Fret not. Fret not. I'm continuing on it, so I'm going to suggest it again just a little different today, you might be able to hold on to it a little tad bit better. Just look at your neighbor and ask him, ask them, you're not fretting, are you? You're not fretting, are you? Amen. You're not fretting, are you? And I ask the question because it's a good question to ask. Why, Bishop, is that fret not a good question to ask? I'm glad you didn't ask. <laughs> fret not suggests, first of all, what does fret mean? Fret means to worry. Are you with me? Fret means to be concerned about. <clears throat> Excuse me. It means to be worried about. It means to, uh, to be concerned about. It means to be troubled for. Right. Are you with me? Yeah. It means to be uh, admonished of. Okay. It means to be truly concerned about. All right. Fret not, David says here in the very first verse of chapter 37. But what I'm more like, and I'm not going to go over last week's amen. I'm going to do that to you. Amen. Uh, but I want to I want to convey where, where he where he gave me to go with it. Amen. Isn't it strange? Amen. In lines of passages of scripture, as you go about your you know you're reading the word, studying the word, and uh, 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 compounding upon the word of God. Isn't it funny and strange at times when you go into certain passages of scripture? Uh, the God, the author who wrote the book, the pen that wrote the book, it would say. Uh, a word or a phrase more than one time? Amen. Amen. Why do you think it suggestively is written more than one time? Anyone got an idea why it might be written more than once? Whatever that might be? Different views. <coughs> Say again, Mama God. Different views. Different Views. Different views. All right. That's a good perspective. Someone else says something. Huh? Emphasizing it. That's a good one. Emphasizing views of it. Um, different views of it. I heard something else. Did somebody say something? They want you to receive it. Amen. Amen. Good. Good analogies. Good analogies. Amen. Um. And I and I like the thought pattern that you all suggest. Because truly it, it is all those things. But moreover, one perspective would be of why the, the word or the suggested phrase would be um, um, rendered or offered twice or more than twice or however many times other than the one time. 
is because, amen, like Mother said, they want you to really get it. Amen. Sister Chantel, they want you to have to emphasize it on it. Amen. Mama, Mama Yvonne said, amen, the different views and all that collectively is so. But moreover, the phrase is written and spoken more than one time because it's very vital and imperative to that particular passage of Scripture. What do you mean by that, Bishop? Amen. David came out when suggesting in verse 1, he says, fret not thyself. In other words, somebody's fret. Amen. Are you with me? And in this particular point of view, he was talking to himself. Fret not suggesting, and now, now, now I want to curb it just a little bit put us all right where we were with last week. Amen. This particular psalm that David wrote, penned, he was talking about blessings to the righteous. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. This particular passage, or this particular psalm, Psalms 37, it's working in the, in the worship of David trying to, amen, emphasize, amen, he's trying to enlighten in the view of, he's trying to give the understanding to, amen, to the, to the people of God, amen. He was trying to convey to them that if we are going to, if you are going to be of any good or service to God, servitude to God in your life, it cannot be with friendly. It cannot be with worry. Can I get a witness? Amen. So it's time to say, if you're going to pray, don't worry. If you're going to worry, don't pray. Uh, 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 you know, however you want to work with that, amen. It kind of makes sense, though, amen. Because they don't go together, amen. Yes, yes, yes. David said, fret not. But then he came right, he backed it up with, fret not thyself. Amen. Do you know that most of our trouble is because we trouble ourselves? All right, all right. All right. I mean, look at it for what it's worth. We are our own worst enemy, Mama B. Yeah, yeah. Why is that? Because we allow stuff, we allow people, if you will, we allow situations, bless his name, to do just that. Trouble us. We allow it to trouble us. We allow it to, you know, trip us out. If we allow it to, you know, make us trip on ourselves. We done said how many times I ain't fooling with that no more. And the next time you turn around and come, it gets you one more time again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just got you a mess. You just fretting and troubled and troubled and fretting and worrying. Oh my God, oh my God, what I'm going to challenge. He said, fret not thyself because of evildoers. Check this part out. I love how he did not, uh, he specified though, didn't he? Yeah. He truly specified evildoers, but I love the fact that this, that's a comp, that, that, evil, that uh, 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 evildoers, that's a compounded noun. Because it more than covers people that are evil, it covers a whole lot. Mean and evil, nasty and evil, are you with me? Amen. You know, it's, it's, evil with, uh, it's evil with a plethora yeah. of connected devices along with it. What I love when he just summed it up and made it whole. Fret not yourself over evildoers. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, you go going to have them anyway. Amen. Amen. Can I get a witness somebody? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the evil the evil doer is you got the evil doer whether you want it or not. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Yep. He said, fret not. But I love the fact that he said, fret not thyself over evil doer. He was pinpointing and direct. It's a, it's a directive perspective that he, 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 he draws, he lines. Mm -hmm. But then, I want to hop down to where we read this morning at verse 6. He said, and he shall bring forth thy righteousness mm -hmm. as the light and thy 
judgment as the noonday. But he pins that verse 7 just like he pinned, amen, verse 3. He says, rest in 6, but he says, trust in 3. Right. Are you with me? He, what do you mean, Bishop? What do you mean? Verse 3, he said, what you know, and you ought to have this. You ought to have this combination if you ain't got none other. What did he say in 3? Trust in the Lord. That's what he said. Six says what? Six says rest in him. Rest? How am I rest? How am I rest in him? How am I rest in him? I've had all these bills. I ain't got no money. Oh, this, this, this stupid COVID-19 got, got, I ain't been able to work right. I ain't got no hours. Somebody, someone say hallelujah while I'm talking. Amen. Uh, 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 I ain't got my money. Uh, they done laid me off. Uh, I ain't got my whole hours at work. I, I, I done got my money and my time to got to reduce. Uh, I can hardly pay my rent. Someone say hallelujah. Uh, uh, Lord, uh, Lord, the Lord knows I, I, I want to be able to take care of my business, but I ain't yeah. got all my money because it's stupid, this old stupid COVID-19, this old, this old dead blast. Amen. We ain't did. See, it's got us so messed up in front. Amen. We done forgot our salvation. We start uttering verbs that we ought not be uttering. This so-and-so and so rent, my so-and-so and so ought to be a but it said hard more what to do. Well, I want to offer you this suggestion. Right. If it's that so hard, it may be because you still trying to do it yourself. Right. Right. Wow, it seems like to me in all this fretting and worrying you got going on doing it, tripping you out like it is, somewhere all along the line, you just shook your head and, and shook your head and snapped back to your real self and said, you know what, I'm going to give this to Jesus. Wait. All right, all right. And 
the younger we get, the more we get with not wanting to wait. Generation, the, 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 the you know, young folk of this generation, like like our musicians and them, amen. Uh, 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 woman, girl, better girl, uh, Nisha, you know, not her so much, but uh, them that age bracket, they, they have a non weight policy. Amen. Can I get a witness? Something you, he's given you the 
Look at your neighbor and say the formula. He's given us the formula in how to beat this thing and let righteousness be our goal. Amen. He said, wait patiently for the Lord, for him. Fret not thyself because of him, bless God, who uh, who uh, uh, perce uh, who uh, perceiving in his own way. See, you you worried about the wrong thing. You looking at what they got. Yeah, yeah. You looking at what she got. Yeah, yeah. You looking at Joneses, and while you Jonesing on Jones, the blessings of God is just passing you by. Yeah. Now let me let you know why that's happening. Because he said he reigns on the just as well as the unjust. Don't trip that the unjust is being blessed that you feel and see. You just wait on God. You be patient on him. You delight yourself. Y'all don't want this thing. You trust in him. You can make your way to him. He said he will give you the desires yeah, yeah. 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 of your heart. Yes, yes. That's a recipe to wait on him. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Let me leave this alone. Yeah. Amen. Cease from anger. Amen. And forsake wrath. Stop getting your jaw tight. Amen. Amen. When it looked like. Look at your name and say, look like. Look like. When it looked like. God is blessing somebody else. Amen. When it looked like. He's opened the door for somebody else. Mm -hmm. When it looked like he done raised his, he done raised his blessings on somebody else. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't you get jaw tight. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Don't do that. Don't get your chest puffed up. Yes. Yes. Don't do that. You're about to mess yourself up. You're about to, you're about to blow yourself, your own self out of the water. Don't get mad and puffed up and envious and all that. Don't be envious when it looks like he's blessing somebody else. Because here's why. If you praise God along with them, how far do you think sooner or later your blessing don't come? Can I get a witness? You can't expect your blessing to come by you hating on them. Yeah. Watch this. And it don't matter whether they serve God right or not. That ain't your business. I shot on them. All right. It ain't your business. Right. How God bless them or not. It ain't your business if they pray or not. It ain't your business if they serve them or not. It ain't your business if they go to church or not. It ain't your business if they love everybody or not. It ain't your business. That's the problem with a lot of us because we too worried about what mama got going on and ain't But we worried about what God doing for somebody else. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he reigns on the just as well as the unjust. Yeah. That ain't your business. Don't trip. Yeah, yeah. Get out of other folks' business anyway, as James says, as a busy being a busybody in other men's affairs. Yes. You got nothing but time to serve God, obey God, live for God, and let Him bless you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me end this alone. Yes. Hallelujah. Cease from, from anger. Mm -hmm. I'm reminded of a brother in the Bible who was perfect and upright uh -huh. before God. Amen. I know a man by the name of Job yeah. who the Bible declares was perfect and upright. Amen. The Bible declares, Josh, that Job was perfect yeah. as a man and perfect as his ser in his servitude to Almighty God. Amen. Bible says that Job was perfect and upright, and he says, says that he excured evil. In other words, he didn't look for it, and if it came, he ran away from it. Yeah. Not like us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, and being a fool around and get a bullet in your head in some in somebody else's business. Amen. Poking your nose where it don't belong. Amen. The Bible said he was perfect and upright. He excused me. <laughs> but one day, up and down the earth, in the earth, up and down in the earth, the Bible records that God saw Satan moving up about and around and about in the earth. He was seeking whom he might devour. Yes, yes, yes. Bible says God said to him, "We are omniscient God, Amen. Omniscient God, He knows everything. He already knew. Have you considered my servant Job? Yes, yes. Yeah, well, you come at me like that, God, but huh, you know what? It's like this. You take your hedge of protection around it, from around it. I make your old, your your old so holy Job. I make him curse you to your face." Job said, all right, you can tempt him, you can strike him, but you cannot have it so. All right, all right. How powerful of a God do we serve? Can I get a witness? Yeah, yeah. You can mess with him. I'm going to lie to that. But you don't, want, you don't touch his soul. Yeah. That belongs, that's mine. That belongs to me. Y'all know the story, the time, the story, situation, his children all died. Amen. His wife got crazy. You need to just curse God and die. That's what, that was what his wife told him. She didn't walk with him either. Amen. Amen. Time after story, situation, calamity after calamity. Lost all his cattle. Lost all his sheep. Lost all, he lost everything. But Job said, naked I came into the the world and naked I shall return. Until he did one thing. Mm -hmm. What was that, Bishop? Mm -hmm. Till he prayed. Yeah. Till he prayed. Yeah. Till he prayed. Yeah. Till he prayed. Yeah. Not for himself. Yeah. But till he prayed yeah. for his friends. Yeah. Yeah. I'm done. Amen. God bless you this morning. Yeah. May the Lord God forever bless you and keep you. Is my prayer. But I only want to leave you and ask you this one point of view is that are you waiting patiently upon the Lord? Can I get a view? Can I get a view of hands that will say, yes, Bishop, I'm waiting patiently. I'm waiting patiently upon the Lord. I'm going to wait on him. Is anybody waiting this morning? Is anybody waiting on him this morning? I'm going to wait. Oh, the Lord, I'm going to trust in the Lord. I'm going to wait on the Lord. I'm going to commit my way unto the Lord. I'm going to delight myself in the Lord. I'm going to rest in the Lord. Are you waiting for him this morning? Are you waiting? for him. How many know if you wait upon the Lord, he shall renew your strength. He shall mount you as wings and eagles. He shall, you shall run and not get weary. You will walk and not faint. Somebody say, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Yes, I Yes, I'm going to wait. I'm going to trust in the Lord. I'm going to trust in the Lord. I'm going to commit my way unto him. I'm going to delight myself also in him. Can I get a witness? And the good part about it is, if you wait on him, he will give you. The desires. Oh, He'll give you the desires. I you Can I get a witness? He'll give you the desires. 
He'll give you the desires of your heart. If you wait patiently. If you wait patiently. Don't get mad. Keep your, keep your, keep your blood pressure down. Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Pray and ask him to give you the strength. Lord, I need you to help me to hold out. Lord, I need you to help me to hold out. Lord, this race may not be easy. You did not say that it would be. But when it gets dark, dark times are coming, saints. his name. Yeah. I'm going to trust you. Yeah. I'm going to lean. Yeah. I'm going to lean and depend yeah. on you. Yeah. Come what may. Yeah. Come what may. Yeah. From day to day, yeah. I'm going to trust yeah. in the Lord. Say you're gonna get cut down. Right, right. Trust. Look at your neighbor and say, trust that. Yes. Evil deal going down. Yes. You ain't gotta worry about it. You ain't gotta get mad about it. You ain't gotta get frustrated about it. Evil doer going down. Yes. Why he cutting the evil doer down? You're gonna be mounting yourself. You're gonna be encouraging yourself. You're gonna be strengthening yourself in the Lord. Can I get a witness? Yes. There might be one today. Preaching, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, all right. That sounds, matter of fact, that sounds mighty fine. Yeah. Uh, but I got a problem because I ain't never really, you know, been able to tap into none of that stuff because it seems like when I call God, he don't answer. Yeah, yeah. Well, my brother, my sister, I can tell you why he seems like to you that he ain't answered. Is because you have not done what's called made a personal relationship with him and you. See, it's one thing to know God, know of God, but it's a whole nother thing to truly know God. Because see, that supports the fact that if you know him, he showed up because he showed up know you. He know you whether you know him or not. That's right, that's right. He says, the day you hear my voice. Harden not your heart. That means like when you hear the preacher preaching like I just did, if you hear the teacher uh, teaching Sunday school or Bible study, whoever that may be, that person, when you hear the word of God and it goes in your ear, but then it goes down to your heart, that's how you feel. That's the feeling. That's the feeling of it. Can I get a witness? And it makes a difference in your spirit. Troubles your spirit, makes you makes you have a real question mark in the middle of your, 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 your head, in your mind, because you realize and know what it's talking about. You have not made that conscious choice. Amen. He said, I behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice, which means the knock, and opens the door, he said, I will. Not might, not maybe. I will come in. Yeah. I will sup with him. Sup with him he means he's going to take time. He's going to get to know you. Yeah. You and him going to take the tape. Y'all going to talk. Y'all going to have dialogue. Yeah. He's going to tell you what he got to give you and what he want to give you. He's going to tell him what you need. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. He said, I'm going to sup with him. Yeah. And he with me. Yeah. We take time out in the midst of every service with this because it's important to God. And if it's important to God, it's shown up is, is important to us. This is what it's all about. Can I get a witness, saints? We all had to hear the word one day and make that conscious choice to live for him. If you have never done that, my brother, my sister, let me be the one that, that have the honor to bless you, to encourage you, to ask you. Why don't you come and give your life to Jesus today? Make your life brand new. Yes, Lord. He will open doors for you. Yes, Lord. Come to Jesus. Wow.
come to him just now while you yet have time. A lot of people, you know, and I'm through with the invitation, a lot of people have said, I'll come next week. Amen, amen. Yeah, 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 I hear that, I heard it before. <laughs> I'll, come next, I'll come next month. He said, the day you hear my voice, yeah. harden not your heart. Amen. That simply means the invitation and opportunity is available and is given to you right now. Is the space and time you have to respond to it and answer it. Yeah. I close the invitation with this. If Jesus was to come back yeah. right now, yeah. I ain't trying to scare you, yeah. but I wanted to put something in you to make you jar, to jar you up. If you know beyond a shadow of a doubt, you have never asked Jesus to become Lord and Savior of your life, ask him to save you, amen, and ask him to be your Lord and Savior. If he came back right now and you were not ready or able to go back with him, meet me at this altar. Because see, this is what it's all about. I preach it, I pray it, I sing it. That's what it's all about. Can I get a witness, saints? It's about someone lost being found. Yeah. It's about a, someone in the ark of safety that has slipped out and need to be reclaimed. Yeah. Fact of the matter, if you need him today, he's here. Yeah. In my final appeal. Yeah. I pray that if he came back right now, yeah. that all hearts in this house yeah. are safe in here. Yeah. Father God, we love you now. We thank you. We thank you for your preached word. We thank you for this message, oh God, that speaks to our hearts, that, it, that tells us that we ought not and should not fret ourselves one bit over those that do evil and work iniquity. You said that they shall be cut down. You said that they shall wither as the green herb. That means that you're going to keep them away from us. You're going to fortify us as your people to move under your unction and under your command. But we pray today, oh God, that if there is any under the sound of our voice, if there's any under the sound of my voice, for whatever reason or so that they were reluctant to come, I pray today, I pray that you would trouble their heart. Yes, yes. Trouble their spirit, oh God. Yes, before it's ever, let them come to you before it's everlasting too late. Yes, Lord. This COVID-19 is claiming souls day by day. Yes, yes, hour yes, by Lord. hour, minute by minute, yes, second yes, by yes, second. Yes, yes, Lord. Give them an opportunity yes, Lord. to say yes to you. Yes, Lord. <laughs> I feel that we've done that which you've told us to do. But yet we know that there is more and there's room for more in your kingdom. Yes, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Let every heart say amen. Amen. And amen. Put your hands together for me.